Welcome back to Behind the Scenes in RPA, and I am Brent Haley, and I haven't been with you for a while because we haven't been traveling due to this crisis and pandemic that we're all going through right now, uh, but still wanted to come back and talk to you with some customers and some cool implementations that are happening in automation that are helping our world today and, and moving forward. One of those is coming back with uh, City National Bank, David Hernandez. Thank you for joining us. Um, you guys have, and we've talked before on some of the great automations you've done for customer service and robots. Uh, wanted to follow up on that, but but first, you know, how are you and your colleagues and, and everybody in your family? Hopefully, everybody's well. Hopefully, how, how is everybody doing? Yeah, thank you for having me back. I really appreciate you connecting with me on this. But we're doing well, you know, like, despite everything that's going on. We we've managed to, you know, from the family front, everything's going well there. But on the work front, we're we were quickly able to kind of pivot to a remote work environment. Um, and really get our core functions stabilized. And obviously my team, we, we were pretty flexible when we can work, work remote as we work with a lot of offshore teams as well. So uh, the impact has been uh, pretty minimal in that sense. Um, and that's actually been almost a, a, a plus side for us because it makes it that much more flexible for us to work longer hours and coordinate with different teams as we're getting busier and, and there's a lot more need for automation right now. So overall, it's been, it's been a pretty, pretty good experience. So similar to us, I think we're working maybe even longer hours than we yeah. were going to the office and and trying to turn the turn the computer off. But uh, remote exactly. work seems even more even more than it was when I was going <laughs> to the office. But hopefully, yeah. the team's doing well. Now, last time we talked, you had uh, two you know kind of Indian automations you were running, really customer service driven, uh, you know account checking. First, how, how are those going? Let's not discredit that. Yeah, no, they're doing good. All of our existing kind of account maintenance processes, the back office operations that we're automating is doing well. We've got a lot of great feedback from, from the colleagues in that organization. And then also the kind of the downstream impact to the clients and the other support function. So overall, it's been a successful implementation within those groups. So as you know, we're all going through this crisis at this point, you know, how is this change? And I know you've done some autom automations to really help with, uh, the, the SBA loans and, and your customers. Give us an idea of how automations and what you've done just in recent uh, few months. Yeah, so the, the biggest kind of projects and issues that we've been focusing on over the past few weeks is the SBA PPP loans. Uh, so we've actually developed multiple bots to really help streamline that process all the way from the actual application submission uh, to the boarding of the loan. So end to end, we're really streamlining it. And the overall goal is try to secure these funds and get these funds to the clients you know, who are really needing you know, the additional funds to you know, continue their business and, and support that. So that was the overall goal is to really, again, deliver for our clients in a quick time frame. Now, I was talking to our team uh, at UiPath and, and I was asking them a few questions before the interview, of course, and, and they said, you, know, you guys are working hard hours, but it, it was a very quick implementation. Let's talk a little bit about how yeah. long that implementation and maybe any issues that you had. Yeah, so one of the bots, we really spun it up in about two days. And this one was a bot that was actually uh, interacting with the eTrend portal, which is where these, the PPP loans are submitted. Yeah. So really quick turnaround on that. Uh, we did experience some challenges because we didn't know when the next phase was actually, the application was going to go live. So there's a couple of sleepless nights just watching the portal, waiting for it to go live, just ready so we can do some testing and, and enable the bots. Um, once the portal went live, it actually had so much traffic, it wasn't really stable in supporting even anybody accessing and logging in. So we had some challenges there initially as well, but once we were able to overcome that, we were able to successfully submit applications. And overall, it was a good experience. So it was learning on our end on you know, how, to, how, how can we react quickly to certain situations that are really critical and, and make things like still have a successful implementation. Now, were there any, and, and, and of course, you know, I, I always feel you know, crisis does drive innovation in some sense. So were there any lear large learnings, again, from this really fast implementation that you will use kind of moving forward beyond this? Yeah, you know, in our prior automations, we always try to account for every single scenario, every kind of nuance of the process. Um, this approach, we decided, let's focus on the happy path. What's, you know, the 80, 90% of the volume that we're going to be getting, really focus on that. Anything else that's, you know, comes across as we'll review manually. That way we're able, that, that's really what enabled us to get such something completed in two days, rather than our normal, you know, four to six weeks development timeline. Um, and that's actually kind of really opened our eyes to maybe that's a different approach that we can take is really just focusing on the happy path, you know, just for, to, provide, to provide immediate value quickly and then take, you know, iterations on refining that. And if, you know, we need to make adjustments on that, that'll increase our throughput overall. But 
that's one of the lessons learned. I think that is going to kind of carry on to business as usual and other projects that we're working on in the future. Now, you guys are a you know, high customer service bank, of course. Tell me a little bit about your customers and what and how things and interactions with them have been going during this time. Yeah, we, we've really maintained our customer centric approach, really anything that we can do to help them. So there's been a lot more focus on automating processes within those groups, anything that's client facing or our supporters. So uh, we're really going to continue to focus on supporting our relationship managers uh, to enabling the customers to, you know, whether they need anything on their end to, you know, get set up for new products, for example, working on something right now for e-deposits. Um, so that's something that, that will directly impact our, our clients in, you know, um, in day one, right? So anything that's, that's going to be focused on client experience is what we're going to continue to focus on. And this has also really opened up the doors for areas such as our client contact centers. I know we've discussed in the past, that's a big focus and there's a lot of opportunities there, uh, but that's given the, the challenges that we've had recently, that's going to be one of our, our next focus areas and seeing how we can implement automation. Uh, and, and really we want to start to implement attendant automation as well um, in, in all those client facing roles, right? So almost getting to the point where every colleague that's client facing has an attendant bot to really support them and to drive value for themselves and the colleague experience, but also the, co the client experience. Emily, and we're seeing a lot of that moving from unattended to attended yeah. and also doing the handshake between the two of them from a scale perspective, right? Really exactly. To, to move the needle on a lot of this. Um, so we move forward. I mean, again, and then we'll talk more, of course, as we always come back and I appreciate your time, but as we move forward, uh, in, any other thoughts for you know, either other banks that are similar, other customers that you would wanna partake or give to them? Yeah, I mean, I, I think really looking at our processes and how we're going to drive value for our customers is going to really help everybody, not only internally, externally, and just drive the organization, but uh, as discussed earlier, really focusing on how do we get a bot for every colleague, you know, to support not only themselves, but the client as well. That's really, I think that's where the industry is heading, and that's going to be beneficial for all financial institutions or any other industry uh, to start looking into those approaches. Awesome. Well, again, I know you guys are super busy. I thank you for your time to get to get on with uh, with us and do a quick interview and tell some of our other customers what you guys are doing. It's been fantastic. I know you've been implementing fast. Yeah. Um, and again, thanks for being a great partner with UiPath. Thank you, Brett. Always a pleasure. And if you want to know more about what we're doing with automation and banking, watch our latest webinar with Amit Kumar and Bobby Patrick. The URL is in the post. We'll see you soon next time on Behind the Scenes in RPA. Be safe.